Now, let us see what is a worldwide web. The term www refers to the worldwide web or simply the web. The worldwide web consists of all the public websites connected to the internet worldwide, including the client devices such as computers and cell phones that access web content. The www is just one of many applications of the internet and computer networks. The World Wide Web is based on these technologies. HTML, Hypertext Markup Language, HTTP, Hypertext Transfer Protocol, Web Servers and Web Browsers. The World Wide Web is what most people think of as the internet. It is all the web pages, pictures, videos and other online content that can be accessed via web browser. The internet in contrast is an underlying network connection that allows us to send email and access the world wide web. The early web was a collection of text based sites hosted by organizations that were technically gifted enough to set up a web server and learn HTML. It has continued to evolve since the original design and it now includes interactive social media and user generated content that requires little to no technical skills. We owe the free web to Tim Berners-Lee and Sense decision to give away one of the greatest inventions of the century. What is the difference between web server and web browser? The World Wide Web is a system that makes exchange of data on the internet easy and efficient. It consists of two basic components, the web server and the web browser. The web server, a computer and software server can refer to either that stores and distributes data to other computers throughout the internet that requests the information. The web browser Software running on an individual client computer that requests information from the web server and displays it in a manner of directed in the data file itself. Let us know History of World Wide Web It is project created by a British scientist Timothy Berners-Lee in 1989 for researchers to work together effectively at CERN. CERN is an organization named World Wide Web Consortium W3C which was developed for further development in the web. The basic idea of the WWW was to mark the evolving technologies of computers, data networks and hypertext with a powerful and easy to use global information system. This organization is directed by Tim Berners-Lee, aka the father of the World Wide Web. What does electronic mail mean? Electronic mail or email is a digital mechanism for exchanging messages through internet or internet communication platforms. Email messages are relayed through email servers, which are provided by all internet service providers. Emails are transmitted between two dedicated server folders sender and recipient. A sender saves, sends or forwards email messages whereas a recipient reads or downloads email by accessing an email server. Email messages are comprised of three components as follows. Message envelope describes the email's electronic format. Message editor includes sender or recipient 
information and image subject line message body it includes text image and file attachments an email address is a designation for an electronic mailbox that sends and receives messages known as email on a computer network since the 1980s all email addresses follow the same format at an example is below ganesha hat domain name.com on the far right the .com component represents the top level domain tlb for the email address it could also be replaced with .org .edu or another entity commonly used tlds include .com used by entities engaged in e-commerce dot org used by non profit organizations dot edu used by educational institutions dot net used by network providers dot gov used by governmental agencies how to create an email address to create a personal email address that will not change as you change schools jobs or internet service providers create an account with an email provider of your choosing such as gmail or yahoo mail the email provider will often ask for your first and last name to create your unique email address typically users will use their name in the email address so the mail will be easily recognizable create a password in order to securely access your emails and you are safe free email accounts gmail outlook.com yahoo mail aol mail handex mail proton mail zoho mail totonota mail thaikor mail ten minute mail what is browsing and shopping browsing refers to visiting a website without any prior a or target a user normally browses the internet he notices the information he or she needs surfing refers to searching a particular information using search engines a surfing is generally time consuming than browsing as user tends to search and locate the required information over the web what is a search engine a search engine is a service that allows internet users to search for content via the world wide web a user enters keywords or key phrases in a search engine and receives a list of web content results in the form of websites images videos or other online data that semantically match with the search query the list of content written via a search engine to a user is known as a search engine there used to be a number of search engines with significant market share as of 2020 google controls the vast majority of the western market Microsoft being as a small presence in second place while how generates many queries the back end such technology is outsourced to Microsoft in other regions of the world other search engines hold the majority of the market in China for example the most widely used search engine is Baidu which was originally launched in 2000 While in Russia, more than 50% of users use Handex. What is crawling? Crawling is a process that allows search engines to discover new content on the internet. To do this, they use crawling bots that follow links from the already known web pages to the new ones. Since thousands of web pages are produced are updated every day. 
The process of drawing is a never ending mechanism. Repeat it over and over again. What is indexing? Indexing is a process of analyzing and storing the content from the crawled web pages into the database, also called index. Only the indexed pages can be ranked and used in the relevant search queries. Whenever a web crawler discovers a new web page, Googlebot passes its content. Example, text, images, videos, math attacks, attributes, etc. Into the indexing phase, where the content is passed for a better understanding of the context and stored in the index. What is retrieval? Retrieval as the word suggests, it is about retrieving, that is, here it is information. The art and techniques used to retrieve information from vast amount of data is information retrieval. Yes, you are already aware of search engines, Google, Yahoo, online shopping for electronics, apparel, computers, books, DVDs and are all information retrieval systems. These information retrieval systems contains different techniques like supervisor learning, unsupervisor learning. Recommender systems which are mathematical in nature to achieve the objective of retrieval. Dear students, today we are discussing about World Wide Web, History of Computers, Email, Search Engine, etc. I hope you enjoy my class. Thank you.